Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Magic. Magic! Yes, and uh, this week we're doing Patreon, as you can see right here. This deck's brought to you by Trevor Johnson, one of our patrons, so thank you very much to Trevor for this deck. Uh, this is definitely a casual deck, um, so this is kind of a casual format, which is exciting because we get to play and cool stuff deck yeah, yeah. that you never normally would uh, would see, but this is definitely definitely a kitchen table deck, definitely a Johnny deck. Timmy? It's Timmy. Timmy deck. I always get those messed up. I always have to think to the unglued cards. Johnny combo player. Johnny combo yeah, player. That's what it is. But anyway, uh, so this one's just like, he didn't really give a name, so I'm just going to call it like Hydropocalypse. I think. Hydropocalypse. Because there's a lot of Hydras. And I'm playing the Pits because yeah. someone had to make Empty the Pits an actual card, you know? Yeah. yeah. Actually cast it. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully we're going to see some Zombies <laughs> versus Hydra action in game one. Oh, suppose I should actually say we have to decide who goes first. And I think uh, this has nothing to do with Patreon, but I found these at a dollar store. And uh, uh, to yeah, decide Dragon who goes Ball first, Z. there's two uh, Dragon Ball Z packs here. And we're going to crack them and just kind of decide whoever Cor whoever does Cor better. Cards. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect. I don't think these are like official Dragon Ball Z TCG cards. I don't know. I got Funimation on the back, so Did probably. I? Okay. Well, I used to I used to play this game. Ooh, ooh, Larval Cell. I got a Maron. Oh, Marin, Marin, Marin. <laughs> She's not French. She's not that fancy. <laughs> She's a pesky barrage. Another Character cell card. That, uh, he forgot about Andro Android nineteen. I, oh, I got Android 16's Tranquility. Blue Overcharge. Orange Fracture. And Blue Concentrated Blast. I'm gonna say you probably win because you got two, like people cards orange intense training drill Ooh, that's pretty intense this and is just like the card namekian game. door destruction <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think just based on the fact that i mean if you want to go with like who has the stronger cards at least for these ones i'm pretty sure you win because this is larval cell this is namekian door destruction yeah <laughs> although apparently according to these numbers marin at her highest level can only kill Cell Larval at his second lowest level. He's a larva. Can he, she just squish him? Squish. I don't understand. But anyway, you, you clearly won that one with your door destruction at all. With your vandalism. <laughs> so you'll go first and we'll see you in game one. Alrighty, game one. Go ahead. We have... A hand. And hopefully your hand was the pits, because I've got some of those. Alrighty, start us off. I think we'll start off with a very exciting forest and go. Draw a card. Didn't really need another one of those, but that's okay. Elvish Mystic, pass the turn. Can't go wrong with turn one acceleration. It's true. Tough turn. We're just going to play Rot Farm. Dance in this forest. Sure. Sure, go. Untap. Draw a card. Uh, it'd be nice if I could cast it, but I guess I'm going to have to just slap you for one. 19. That's Hopefully that came through as a slap noise. Here's another Elvish Mystic. Oh, wow. And a forest. <laughs> Pass the turn. Untap. Drove turn. Forced. And I think we're going to play. I think I'm winning the mana race. A Voyaging Seder. All right. Here we go. Untap. Being able to untap. Draw a uh, tap for two land. I think I've evened it out. Yep. Well, would you would you consider him a hero? Do you think? Do you think he he'd qualify as a hero? Because if he does... This is his bane. Hero's bane. <gasps> Comes in the four plus one plus one counters. A four four is kind of the bane of a one two. It's true. It'll pass the turn. But only if he's a hero. Untap. Otherwise, doesn't really matter. Drop turn. We can play. Forced. Mm hmm. And. We have six potential mana. What do we do with it? 
You do too. I think we use three of it to read the bones. Okay. Scry two. Dem bones. You leave one on top, the other one on the bottom. Draw two cards. And then go to 17. Okay. And then we shall untap our rot farm. Sure. Are you going to read some more bones? And we're going to play a Drazi Monument. Ooh, or sweet. Zone des Urschwachens. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Makes a Eldrazi spawn at my upkeep. Turgo. Okay. Untap. Dry card. That's not bad. Here's an island. Easeland. And I'm thinking we're going to slap you for four. But wait, it's eight. Eight Nine. counters. Flaw <laughs> counters. It is. And then we will play Cure's Follower. She doesn't lead. She follows. She follows. Pass the turn. Untap. Fortunately, Hero's Bane can be chump blocked. And you will now have Drop quite turn. a few chump blockers. Temple of the False God. Yep. Doesn't actually do anything yet. But you know, it's there. It's there Eventually it will. Support. Three. Five. Yep. Doubling season. Oof. A lot of chump blockers. A lot of chump blockers. Okay. Enter, go. Untap. Draw a card. It's at eight counters on it. Okay, you're at nine. There we are. Start by playing a forest. Um... I think I've got you. Actually. Do you? I think I do. Five, six, Humbler Mortals. When it or another enchantment enters the battlefield, creatures I control gain trample till end of turn. Then, then do I it. Can just uh, go ahead and do one of those. Four eleven. Block one. <laughs> Take ten. You might as, you might as well block like the something else. You know, not the nah. hero's bane. You don't block the hero's bane. This okay. Eldrazi spawn, he <laughs> believes in himself. He does, apparently. So that was actually quite fast. That was. Yeah. I also had a backup Hydra. And this I had a whole bunch of land. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that wouldn't have helped. Rain of Hills did not that help. That wouldn't have helped. If you had a black up, you could have just, uh, you know, filthed away all your lands <laughs> to put some fear into me. But, but yeah, so that was game one, rather quick. And we'll see you in game two. Alrighty, game two. And here we go. Those things. That one probably not getting cast anytime soon, but we'll see. Go ahead. You know what we should have done? We should have got rid of our nice like office table that's all nice and just got like a plain looking kitchen table for this. That would have been sweet. I'm going to go for forest. Mm -hmm. Enter go. Draw card. Definitely didn't need another one of those. Foil forest. Just like yours, but mine's full art. <laughs> and an elvish mystic. Ooh. Do you. I don't know why I tapped that in. Turn. Yeah, I don't I know. Need to. <laughs> Rough turn. Not too many green instants that would do much either in this board state. He's a voyaging satyr. Yep. Turgo. Almost drew two there. Draw card. Ooh, look at that. Well... Since these don't trade favorably, I kind of got the advantage there. It's true. I'm gonna play a forest and a golden hind. <gasps> Two one taps for a green. Pass a turn. The deer could be my it's true. deer person. Is it? A, I guess it's kind of a deer person. It's a yeah, it's kind of a deer person. Definitely some sort of critter. I don't really have anything to use the mana for, so I guess we just play Golgari Rot Farm, return on this. Sure. Untapping this. Oh, they're attacking me. 
Like that's nah. interesting. Yeah. Nah. Sure. It's pretty good. And three mana. Yep. Yeah. For Nissa. Ooh. Voice of Zendikar. Nice. Put her up to four. And poop out a Fusti. Poop out a Fusti. Enter Toots. go. Unzap. Dry card. It's okay. Hmm. Forest, for sure. Then I think I'm feeling a bit of, uh... Hero's Bane. <gasps> he kind of got in the way last time. He was the all-star last game. Well, the guy that gave him trampled a little more so, but, uh... Pass the turn. Untap. Fortunately, I do not have him this time. Drop turn. We can play a swamp. Yep. Switch these around so they match better. Sure. Symmetry is always nice. Four mana. Yep. For a Garrick. Ooh. Okay. Pretty good with Rot Farm, if that's your. We're gonna cup of tea. Untap two lands. Going to four. Yep. Yeah. And Fax is the five mana if you want. I think we're feeling a little squirrel nest on this swamp. Squirrel nest! Oh uh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Got some squirrels. <laughs> we'll make another plant. <laughs> Enter go. This is the battle that they've talked about in Legends. Hydras versus squirrels and plants. <laughs> Draw a card. I mean, 15 flying squirrels can kill an Emrakul, so I'm sure they can manage with the hero's bane. It's a good point. It's definitely a good point. So, let's see here. I think we're going to send hero's bane in at Garrick. I think there's going to be a plant. He's going to trip on this plant over here. Sure. He can be trumped by a plant. <laughs> so he seems a little big to trip on anything, really. But uh, that's it. Okay. Well, he got, he got, you know, he was walking down the path, and then yep. he saw this flower, and he's like, <gasps> and then he stopped, and then he forgot what he was doing. So now he's, <laughs> he's wandering through the forest, let's, eating all the poor birds. Let's try this. We're going to tap four mana. We're going to play a market festival on a foil <laughs> forest. So that allows it to tap for three mana. One's Fancy. green, and the other two are any other color. Any other color. And I think what I'll do right now is I will tap for a green and two blue and cast a Kiora's Follower. And I'll just let that one mana fizzle. Pass the turn. End of your turn. I'm going to untap this swamp. Okay. Tap making a squirrel. You got a squirrel. I've got the squirrels, actually. You got the squirrels. <laughs> squirrel. Just in case you need an army of squirrels, I'll fish some more out. While I mean, you I do have a Garrick and a Voyaging Seder that can untap that land. Oh, you're doing your turn there. There's <laughs> another squirrel. We have to have more squirrels than this. There's two more squirrels. Untap. Hopefully, if there's any more squirrels than that, then these squirrels... Upkeep. I'll be in trouble. Drop turn. Swamp. Yep. How much mana do, can I possibly produce here? Probably quite a bit. So we have five, mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. ten. Ten mana we can utilize. Let's go four. Four? Four mana. Five mana. Okay. No squirrel. Yes. Untap two lands. Yep. Seven. Yes. Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> untap. I think we just need the forest, right? Let's just untap this for balls. Okay. Nine mana. Yep. For a Verdant Force. Ooh. All right. Eight mana, seven, seven. We just have a black floating, because why not? Sure. 
slump squirrels here. Right, quests are there. All in the playing field. Also, you know, squirrel art is just... Yeah, it's squirrel. Not something you get to see every day. So. Question is, should I pump them with Nissa? I think I'll just <laughs> make another plant for now. Yeah. Poop out another Fusi? More Fusis. You got it. Enter go. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Well, that was fine, I suppose. Island. So what can we do here? How much mana could we possibly make? We could make 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. All right. I have a sapperling on your upkeep. Oh, yeah. Sure. Don't forget, Verdant Force does trigger on both upkeeps. On each upkeep. Very much fun in multiplayer. And now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. Yes, that's what I was saying. A lot of mana. There's a lot of mana. Um... So, if I go do that for five, is that good? That's probably pretty good. I could do it for six. Hmm. Or I could do it for nine. Just to make this big. So many choices. Yeah. I'm in a lot of trouble next turn. So I think. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. So we'll tap that for three. Doesn't really in the long run matter what colors. Uh, untap it, tap it again, two will be green, the rest will be blue. Sure. So we have six oh, mana. Six mana. Right now. And then we can go seven. And we can go eight. Yes, eight. I think is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to cast Genesis Hydra, where X equals 6. So, Sweet. it's a really fun card. It's a plant Hydra, which is cool. Because these plants and Hydras. Yeah, he's got some synergy <laughs> with these plants yeah. over here. So when you cast Friends. them, you reveal the top X cards of your library, and you may put a non-land permanent with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield, then shuffle the rest into your library. And it comes in with that many counters. So I cast it for 6, so we're going to reveal the top 6. Those are our top six. So we get the first one revealed might have been the best. Probably. These will shuffle. I mean, the flyer's fine, but... He can find something else, though. Yeah. He can continue the value train. That's true. And he's the biggest dude. So I think that's the one we're going to do. So I think the way this works is that will not... That'll be put on the stack, but I have to shuffle these first. And then he will enter as a 6-6. Six, six. Might as well just use one of your dice, since I can. And then his trigger happens. So when he enters the battlefield, I look at the top X cards in my library, where X is the number 4, so I control, and I can reveal a creature from among them and put it into my hand. I have three forests, three which forests. is not that many, but... Uh, so I'll look at the top three. Well, that was uh, disappointing. We'll get an Elvish Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in our hand. And let's see. Well, I might as well might as well do it. I will cast an Elvish Mystic. So that that Golden Hind just pooped out an elf. He did. <laughs> it, uh, that must have hurt a little bit. And we'll tap these two to also play a Basara Tower Archer. 2-1 Hexproof Reach. And I don't have good attacks, so I will pass the turn. Hopefully not get completely booped. Probably Untap. will. Upkeep. 
deep. We get another sap. Get a little sap. Drop turn. It's not quite dead to a trample, I don't think. Being at 20? No. I could survive a trample. But we cast an 8 mana spell last turn. Oh boy. <laughs> you have another one? <laughs> oi. Oi, oi, oi. I remember, we could do this with the squirrel nest. Making a squirrel. Okay. So, so far you have a sap and a squirrel that can attack this turn. Yes. If that's relevant. I don't know if you plan to I don't think that send in the team. but Because we can go four. <laughs> Sorry, two. Yep. Four. Yes. Six. Untap two lands. Mm-hmm. I guess that makes eight, correct? Yep. So this can make another squirrel. It can. Now we're going to use eight mana. Yep. To cast Army of the Damned. Oh! Put 13 2 2 black zombie creatures on the battlefield tapped. Oh! That's a lot of army. That's a lot of army. Oh, Pretty. Yeah. I Now I think I'm probably dead doing overrun. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it, that might be the case. One, two. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Do we have more of those? We probably have more. Oh, yeah. Cats and cats. Do we really not have any more soldiers? These are zombies, by the way. These are if, zombies. Uh, that wasn't obvious. So many zombies. Yeah, that's all the soldiers. If anyone's asking, I am working on zombies. Hopefully, uh, we can find a decent enough printer. So that we can get those out to you guys. And I think we're going to go down with Nissa and put a 1 1 counter on all the things. That's pretty good. Do you have that many dice? <laughs> 13 <laughs> zombies. Wow. 13 3 3 zombies, even. So, what would be good here? Upheaval? That's not in the deck. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Don't forget the Seder. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Those, are some, those squirrels were working out. Okay. Yeah. How necessary is this? I don't know. It's fun. Is it? <laughs> it's going to be real fun to untap them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. And I think it's your go. All right. So, so, untap, upkeep. Uh, what do I do here? Well, this kind of draws me a card, so I'm going to tap this for two blue and a green, and this is on my upkeep still. And I'll flash in Dictate a Crufix, beginning nice. of each player's draw <laughs> step, they draw an additional card, because I think I have to dig to something. I don't okay. know what I'm digging to, personally, but, uh, so yeah, draw step, we'll draw a card, and then we'll draw another card. Ooh, I don't. I think you might be dead. Really? Yeah, I think you might be dead here. <laughs> so we're gonna. Well, we're gonna play an island, first of all. And then I think. We're gonna cast a Golden Hind. <laughs> yep. See? You're dead. Total dead. Total dead. Totally dead. Um. It's expecting like Prowler's Hell. No, I didn't know. Heroes Bearing. That wouldn't even do it. I don't even have anything. <laughs> Not enough mana to no. pump him in big enough. Well, you're 20, right? So, <laughs> I'd have to pump him. I'd have to pump him three times and cast and equip the thing. Yeah, I might have been able to do it, but I didn't draw it. So, uh, what I did draw was a golden hind who's got a very nice hind. It even pooped out an elf, so yeah. clearly. Well, here's what I can do. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to attack you for four. Me for four. Yep. The sapperling that just came into play is going to get in the way again. I'm going to, since I'm very, very clearly dead no matter <laughs> what I do, I'm going to tap four mana, double his power. So he goes to eight. And then I'm going to tap one, untap this market festival thing. And three... 
to double his power again. 16. 16. Well, I mean, the last time he got lost from a plant, he found a plant zombie, so there's that. That is true. That is true. So uh, I have a 16-16 in play, which I feel pretty good about. And, and it, it was jumped by one one. And it definitely tripped over a plant. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Have fun untapping. Untap. <laughs> All right. Here, All right. I'll, I'll, I'll move Mr. Boopster a little bit just so, you know, things are... We'll, we'll simplify. Oh, that's, no, well. that's no fun. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a way better idea. <laughs> simplify the counters. Sure. I should have attacked you with everything just to see how, like, if we could break the, like, get me into negative triple digits. I don't think you're, yeah, you probably could have. You probably could have. Four squirrels. I guess I could just not block. Maybe that's what I'll do. Yep. So you got your sap on upkeep? Yeah. It's down over here. Okay. This is quite the board. Turn. Quite the board. Well, we can... Did you draw twice? I've dictated. All right, we get to draw two cards. That's a very exciting draw. Here's an Evolving Wild. Yep. I'm pretty stoked about that. So... Yeah. We can... Make a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> Can't attack this turn, so he can hide over there. We can untap that land. Make a squirrel. Let's make a squirrel. Okay. Use up all the squirrel tokens. But. Oh, good. And we can go down two. <laughs> yeah. More counters. Yep. This might we might be setting a record for most amount of damage, other than like arbitrarily large numbers. Yeah. When you just say like I'll deal twelve billion to you. This might uh, this might set a combat record. And I don't really have anything else that can uh, pump. Garrick can overrun. All right, yeah. Well, I know that, but I don't have any spells. In oh, sure, sure. Pump. So, Garrick can overrun. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then we can attack for... So, do... Oh, my so God. these are four... Well, these, these are, are all sevens. fives, right? Oh, sorry. They, they, these are all going to be Seven sevens. sevens. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's 21, 42, 42 63. Yeah. Plus, so that's 80, 84, plus, eight, plus seven. 7, so 91. 91. So 91 is the front line. Yeah. And then this, this is very is, important, by the way, for us to calculate this out. <laughs> we can't be off at all. This is 8. Okay. Yeah. No, wait. That's, sorry. What was this is 91. This is, you have 91 right here. And then these are both five five or five sixes. Okay. So that's 101. 101. Squirrels are three six sixes. Yeah. So that's 24. So, so 125. 125. Sapperlings add another. They're twos only. They're sixes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The sapperlings have one. The plants have yeah. zero or zero ones. So okay. these are six. So that's another 12. So that's 137. And then Avert is a 12-12. Uh, yeah. 149. 149. And these I'm, guys can't join the combat. I think I'll just take that. <laughs> Should I throw a... Sorry, what, what was it? It was 100, 149? 149. 149. Um, yeah, I'll just take it. Screw it. So I'll go to negative 129, and we'll see you in game three. Woo! Alrighty, game three. Show my hands. So if that last game taught us anything, kids at home, uh, if your local village is ever getting attacked by giant hydros and giant monsters, just take all the local plant life and animal life and just like stuff it in front of that, and that'll uh, and that'll get it done. Pick up all the graves. Yeah. <laughs> and prop them up. Just prop them up. So it'll be good. <laughs> Go ahead. We have it's a pretty fancy hand. Might be a little bit slow, but it should be fun. Someone say slow. Elvish Mystic. <gasps> Best turn. 
I'm not saying that because he's Dark fast turn. mana. I'm saying that because he's slow in the head. That's a very good land to draw on turn one. There's an evolving wands. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to crack that for a forest. Okay. Your go. Evolving Wilds, of course, being in the deck because uh, playing, you know, fetch lands that are worth more than this entire deck kind of against the, uh, against the theme. Against the theme here. Okay, so that was a draw, I suppose. Island. And I think this turn, the prudent course of action would be to slap you for one with this <gasps> slow elvish mystic 19 and we'll follow that up with a follower and pass the turn see what i did there it's wordplay yeah yeah draft turn that's a pretty pricey spell over there but you know that should be fine here's a shrine of the forsaken gods yep can tap for one or can tap for two when i have seven or more lands a little off of that here's a voyaging satyr okay to go Unzap. Draw a card. And not that bad. Um, We're going to... Let's see. So many choices. I think we're going to start out tapping three mana. We're going to cast a Divination to draw two cards. Decide your fate. Divinate. Divinate your fate. Divine? Divine, divine your fate? Yeah. I, I guess divine right. makes the most sense, yeah. Um, Am I going to trip over plants again? <laughs> yeah. That is the question. Let's play a forest. And let's get in there for two with this follower. 17. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. I think we're going to go for a forest. Yeah. I'm going to pay three mana. Yep. Untap one of them. Four mana. Four mana. For some explosive veggies. Ooh. Best kind of veggies. Explosive vegetation. Finding two basic lands on the battlefield tap. I know when I'm out chucking Swamp. corn, I'd, just, I'd love it if it just exploded. <laughs> no, that wasn't a euphemism, if you're wondering. <laughs> Find another forest, too. Yep. Enter go. We're almost there. He almost. Untap. Draw a card. That was pretty on time. Um, let's see. But what would be the superior line? I think. I think I'd rather do some setup. So I'm gonna lead with a divination. Draw two cards. You really like uh, looking into your future, don't you? I do. It's a promising future. It's full of treats. Yeah. Well, hopefully. I mean, that's that's the dream. It'd be horrible uh, if it wasn't. Yeah. We'll play an island. And we'll pass the turn. Untap. Not attacking for three. Interesting. Not attacking for three. Draw for turn. Well, that's... That's a pretty good draw. I think, though, this turn we go for... Six mana. Yep. Nissa's Renewal. <laughs> okay. Search the library for up to three basic land cards, put them on the battlefield tapped, and shuffle your library, you gain seven life. Definitely a kitchen table card. <laughs> go to 24. That's all I have to say. She's about that one. Instead. 24. And we'll find Swamp. Yep. A forest. Yep. And a swamp. Yep. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana. We overshot the seven by just a bit. Yep. And I think it's your go. Okay. End of turn. Untap island. Tap three. Two cast. Dictate of Crufix. Oh. And he dictates that I draw two cards on my draw step, which is what I'm going to do. So we'll do that. Draw step. It's almost like I built a third divination. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Divination every turn, almost. Yeah. Except your friend, your your enemies also benefit from it. True. I do get the first benefit though. That is that is nice. Which is nice. Um. 
So I have access to... We'll play a forest, first of all. So I have access to seven mana. Huh, what do I do with seven mana? I think... I think we use six of it to cast a Hydra Broodmaster. Six mana, seven, seven. Monstrosity X for X, Monstrosity X, X, X. G. Yeah. And then... It becomes, when it becomes monstrous, you get X, 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 green Hydra creature tokens. So the Hydrapocalypse. Is that, is that 18 plus? Is that X, 18 X, plus? X, X, green Hydras? Uh, I think it's R. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably R. And uh, since we, since we got this young gentleman, doing, I think, maybe. Is he a gentleman? I'll tag you for two. Um, you know what? In response to that, we're going to untap our shrine. And we'll take two, go to 22. Okay. You got it. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Untap for turn. Draw. Draw. Yep. Unfortunately, Crufix also dictates Temple that you guys can do that as well. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana. Good old soul lands. Yeah. No problem with that. It's 12, possibly 14 mana. So 5 mana. Jeez. For a doubling season. Oh my god. Okay. And... Three mana. Yep. Let's tap them like this. Okay. For an awakening zone. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of tokens. It's a few tokens. And... Hmm. It's your go. Okay, we're gonna untap. Dictate dictates we draw twice, so that's what we're gonna do. Those were not the greatest draws. Let's see. Okay, forest first of all. You can so make a bunch of babies. How big? How many babies can we make? Let's see. We can make just that many babies. We can make three, three, three babies. Three, three, three babies. Make that a ten, ten. It's not bad. Um, you're at twenty-two. Twenty-two. That's a lot. Good old seven life. Or we could do some of that and make even more babies. I think I like that idea. Making more babies. Yeah. I think I like to make babies. So. So we'll use the line that's going to make us the most babies. I'm going to lead with a Whitewater Naiads. Whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Mr. Broodmaster. Number 7-7. Seven, seven. And up. then let me just do a little thinks here. You monster some right now. Could. Make one 1-1 one, one baby. I don't really want to make a baby. Um, let me just do some... Quick thinking. Those two better than sending in... No. Okay. So what I'll do is I will send in these two for nine. We'll take it. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Pretty, pretty hilarious number for your deck to be at. Yeah. Very on theme. Around theme. And then Golden the Hind zombies. will also <gasps> join the fray. Golden Hind. Yep. It's just, I now I'm I'm wondering like like because this kind of just looks like a hind to me, <laughs> or like, like an gold? elk, just a regular elk. Does he just have like a golden anus? Is that his claim to fame? Well, he's got golden horns, but that's not his hind. That's true. His hind would be behind him. You dig? I I guess he does. He must. Yeah. He must poop gold. He must. Anyway, more babies later. So. Pass the turn. Untap. Everyone likes babies. Upkeep. We'll get some babies of our own. Yep. Kind of frightening looking. Two but. babies. Two babies. Thanks to doubling babies. season. We'll draw for turn. I know. We'll, oh, we need the other draw too. Ooh. Here's a swamp. Mm hmm. It's more mana. We can never go wrong with more mana. Mm hmm. Anything at your go. Interesting. Okay. We're going to untap. Did you draw two off deck pick? Yes. Okay. We drew the one and then... Remember. Wasn't sure to... If you're Second one was a swamp. So dictate. Draw two. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that one's probably not super useful. Okay, how many babies can we make now? So we can make four, four, four babies if we want to do that. But I have the sneaking suspicion that you have an army of zombies that's going to strike me down on the back swing. So then what's the plan? You're at 13? 13. That's 11. Hmm. Let me see. Is there any nice way to do this? So we need six for that. And then we can make one baby. That's not great. Really needed a land there. Land would have been good. Land, I think, would have been pretty much lethal. <gasps> uh, so what's correct here? Do we do this? Thirteen. Okay. So seven. You have four toughness. I'm not sure if Empty the Pits has them come in tapped or not. Can't remember. I think our best line still is two. Do it this way. Okay. So we're going to tap six. We're going to play a Humbler of Mortals, which is an enchantment with Constellation. So both of these will trigger. This one makes this guy unblockable, and this one gives creatures I control trample until end of turn. Oh. Which, on like 1-1s one and 2-2s two isn't great, but it might be the difference. On that 4-4, four four, it could help. The 4-4 four four is pretty good. So... Then I think, yeah, I will get in there for 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, we're going to start this off with a swamp for a rain of filth. Ah. Each land I control gains. Sacrifice this land, add black to your mana pool until end of turn. Yep. And we're going to add 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 13, 14 mana to my mana pool. Yep. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> We're going to cast Empty the Pits with Delve. Yeah. So that would be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38. 38 effective mana. Uh-huh. So four of it goes to the four <laughs> black. Yep. Yeah. So 17, 17, which is really uh, 34, because <laughs> doubling season's in play. Doubling season. 34 zombies. They are tapped, which is good, I guess. See, did, you, did I count these? No. Oh, Were so you we sacking can, those yeah, two? Yeah, we can sack these. Okay, so sure. An extra zombie. Sure. Or an extra two zombies. Were you dead? So that's this? 18. Otherwise? I believe so. Because you could block two. So... You would have taken 3, 7, 14. Yeah. Yeah. You were. Just just barely. <laughs> Mighty bear. A bear? Yeah. One bear? One bear. Oh, but that's not actually, fun. I need a few dice. Why don't you just do, like, that? <laughs> See how I did. What was that? 18 times 2. What was that again? Huh? It's, was it 18 times 2? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so, I guess so, yeah. 36, so. then? 36. 36 zombies? Five. <laughs> 10, 12, 15, 20, 
30. Yeah. And One, six. two, three, four, five, six. All right. 36 2 2 zombies. 36 2 2 zombies. We even saved the swamp. But unfortunately, since they're the pits, they are tapped. They're not. Are no, they, they are tapped. They are tapped. Right, they yeah. are tapped. That's what I mean. Like, I'm, I was pretty sure that. I'm pretty sure that you're dead anyway. <laughs> dead anyway. Yeah. Which is sad because I had a fifth of this. Oh, a fifth of this. I was hoping you'd just, you know. <laughs> My, go all in on babies. this. Make a 10 10 and then you'd just 20 me. <laughs> fifth of this. <laughs> No, no. So that was a that was a weird game. That was a really weird game. I mean, I got a rain. totally had the read on you with rain. the empty the pits. But uh, that's pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> so once again, thank you to our patron Trevor Johnson for sponsoring this deck, not this one. This was your wacky creation. Um, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.